uh, democracy and the birth of Western civilization and all. Um, first of all, tell us how the uh, Parthenon ties into that. Well, Paul, the Parthenon is really the paradigmatic image object for this study because it's in front of the Parthenon that Pericles stands up and says, we are Athens and the reason we are the greatest city in Greece is because we are de a, a democracy. And he really believed that building this enormous, beautiful, perfect temple with this extraordinary sculpture was a way to celebrate that. And he wanted that message to be here for us for future generations. And is that one of the first times when we see that with liberty and with civilization comes great art? This is absolutely the first time. It had never been tried before. It's why the Greek experiment was so audacious. And it was short, but it had extraordinary achievements in literature, in history, and in the fine arts. Okay, well then moving over to uh, Michelangelo's David, um, tie that into Western civilization, democracy, art, all together. Well, and David is the kingpin of the book. He gives the book its name because from the book of Samuel, you know that the shepherd David was so pure in his faith that he could kill the giant Goliath with his slingshot. So we make the sling the metaphor for democracy. And Michelangelo, very few people know, was a committed uh, Democrat, it was small d, and uh, carved this statue very much to be a tribute to the Florentine Republic and very much an, against the Medici family. And so what most people don't know, that's its original context. He was a, a warrior for freedom. Uh huh. And in fact, even the way he's, he's looking and he's posed and all is like, in a def uh, I'm ready to get you, right? That's that a is a very deliberate moment that Michelangelo chose, that we have to remain watchful always in the defense of liberty. Okay. Uh, moving to, um, uh, now to America. This a uh, uh, painting. Um, this is by Albert Bierstadt, and it's Landers Peak. And uh, tie that into the American dream and uh, manifest destiny. It's a it's a fascinating picture. Enormous landscape uh, painted it on the same scale as Washington crossing the Delaware, which was very deliberate on Bierstadt's part. And he was one of the first artists to travel west, with the goal of showing people what this looked like. And this picture was painted right after the Civil War to honor Frederick Lander, who had been his guide and was a great Civil War gen general and died in the war. And Beardstadt wanted to offer something that would be hopeful after the war. And the notion that the United States could heal and then expand west is really the message of the painting. And, and um, his, the man that he went out there with, mm -hmm. this general you were talking about, he even gave a lecture, didn't he, about how, um, how important um, well, to tie together what his lecture was well, about. Well, Lander is an extraordinary man. On the one hand, he would wrestle grizzly bears. He was a giant of a man, same height as Abraham Lincoln. But on the other, he really believed America could develop a culture to rival Europe. And that's why he very much wanted to go build a road. Uh, and he was famous for bringing in his contracts under budget and on time, which was shocking in Washington then as now. But he, uh, he very much wanted this beauty to come east so people would know what was in store for them. Exactly. The Took West. artists with him so that, uh, the, that he could show Americans, not just tell them about it. Well, then, let's move to uh, Guernica by Pablo Picasso, because this is sort of the, um, if the others are about uh, uh, great things about democracy, this is more the anti-democracy painting, right? Well, it's, it's turned into the great protest picture, but what it really is is Picasso's response to the threat of fascism. And what was different about fascism is this was an existential threat to liberty, rather than a the Medici wanting to take over Florence, the fascists wanted to e extinguish the notion of liberty. And Picasso was actually looking at the Parthenon. He had studied casts of the Par Parthenon ped pediments, and he repeats that shape and some of the forms of the sculptures because I think he wanted to, to call, call out for help against this threat and show us what we were in danger of losing. Amen. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Victoria Coates, author of David Sling, A History of Democracy and Ten Works of Art. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Paul.